In this video, let us solve some problems based on chords of circles. The question goes like this. If two chords of a circle are equally inclined to the diameter through their point of intersection, then prove that the chords are equal. Alright, this is the question. Let us get a figure for this now. The question is, if two chords of a circle are equally inclined to the diameter, so let us first get the diameter. Here is the diameter. It has to pass through the center. So I'm just extending the point a little bit. So now we've got the diameter. If two chords of a circle are equally inclined to the diameter through their point of intersection. Now two chords have to intersect and at the same point be equally inclined to the diameter. So let us draw, say one chord is like this and one more chord is like this. Now these are the two chords which intersect at this point where I'm marking green. They are also equally inclined to the diameter. Here it is. These angles are equal. Now this is the data that we have. We need to prove that if this is the case then prove that these chords are equal. So now we know what we have to prove. We need to prove that. Let us name these A, B, C, D. So now, in order to start proving, we need to make a small construction. That is, draw OL perpendicular to AC. So this is L. And then draw OM perpendicular to AB. Now, now considering the triangles OLA and OMA. Alright, now we've got the data and we've done this construction. Now, why have we done this construction? We need to have an approach to solve this problem. The approach is here. The approach is make this construction that is OL perpendicular to AC and OM perpendicular to AB and then we form a triangle OLA and OAM. So what we have to prove that we need to prove that the chords are equal. In order to prove that the chords are equal, we need to prove that they are equidistant from the centers. Now we know that we've come across a theorem which says that if the chords are equidistant from the centers of the circle in which they are in, then the chords are equal. So if AC and AB are equidistant from OL and OM, then they are equal. Now how do you prove that OL is equal to OM? Now consider the triangles OLA and OAM and prove that these two triangles are congruent to each other. And then you can prove that OL and OM are equal to each other because of corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. So that is the concept or the approach that we have to take here. All right, now let us proceed with the with solving the problem. Now in triangle OLA and triangle OMA, we have angle OLA equal to angle OMA because OL and OM were drawn perpendicular to AC and AB and therefore they are 90 degrees with AC and AB respectively. Therefore, angle OLA and OMA are equal to each other. The reason being each equal to 90 degrees. Now, OA is equal to OA because it's the same side being shared by both the triangles. Therefore, we have OA equal to OA. We can also write the reason as common to both the triangles. Now, finally, angle OAL equal to OAM. Why? Because it is given in the question itself. They are equally inclined to the diameter. So, therefore, angle OAL equal to angle OAM. The reason is given. So, we've got three data here. That is angle side angle. So, using the criterion of the angle side angle, we prove that the triangles OLA and OMA are congruent to each other because of which we have OL equal to OM which is nothing but corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. So if OL is equal to OM it shows that indirectly that AC and AB are at equal distances from the center of the circle. Therefore we prove that AC equal to AB. So this ends this problem. Let us solve more problems. 
Now the question goes like this. In the given figure, O is the center of a circle and PO bisects angle APD. Prove that AB equal to CD. Let us see how do we go about this problem. Now what we have to do as far as this problem is concerned is the concept is we need to prove two chords are equal. Now from the various results that we've learned before in the previous videos we know that if we have to prove that the two chords are equal either they have to be equidistant from the center or any other results but here we are going to use this concept these chords should be proved that they are equidistant from the center then we can easily say that cd is equal to ab so now to prove that they are equidistant from the center let us draw OE perpendicular to AB and OF perpendicular to CD. And if we can prove that OF is equal to OE, then CD is equal to AB automatically. So now how do we go about proving OF equal to OE? Nothing. All we have to do is just prove that triangle OFP is congruent to triangle OEP. That's all. So now considering triangles OFP and triangle OEP, we can say that angle OFP equal to angle OEP because they are at 90 degrees to CD and AB respectively because we have to draw them perpendicular to CD and AB respectively. And then we have OP equal to OP. Why? Because OP is the same side that is shared by both the triangles. So it is common to both the triangles. And then we have angle OPE equal to angle OPF. Now this is because OP bisects angle APD. So as a result of this, we can say that triangle OEP is congruent to triangle OFP and therefore we can easily say that OE equal to OF because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal and since OE equal to OF what it indicates is it indicates that the chords AB and CD are equidistant from the center O and therefore they are equal so this ends this problem Now the question goes like this, prove that the line joining the midpoints of two equal chords of a circle subtends equal angles with a chord. So let us see how the figure of this problem goes. Line joining the midpoints of two equal chords. Let us draw the two equal chords, here it is. And these two chords are equal and let us name these AB and CD. And it also says that line joining the midpoints of two equal chords. Let us say the line joining the midpoints. So this is the line that joins the midpoint. Here it is. Of two equal chords of a circle subtends equal angle with the chord. Now we need to prove that these angles here, that this line that joins the two midpoints of the two chords subtends. So that is this this and this and this so this should be equal to this and this should be equal to this that is what we need to prove here join this is o so join o e and join o f now the question clearly says that the chords a b and c d are equal so that also says that they are equidistant from the origin therefore we can say that o e equals to o f so we have OE equal to OF. And also apart from that, now since OEF is a triangle and OE and OF are two sides of the triangle and they are equal, it is an isosceles triangle. And in an isosceles triangle, the angles opposite to equal sides are equal. So therefore, we have angle OEF equal to angle OFE. Now, this has to be 90 degrees. Only then can you measure the distance. So this has to be 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. Now, subtracting OEF from 90 degrees, we have this angle here. And subtracting 90 degrees from OFE, we have this angle here. 
So we can clearly say that if this is equal to 90 and this is equal to 90 and these two angles are equal to each other, then subtracting these two small angles, that is this angle and this angle, subtracting these small blue angles from the 90 degrees are also going to result in two equal angles. So therefore, let me write 90 degrees minus angle OEF equals 90 degrees minus angle OFE and similarly 90 degrees plus angle OEF. Now 90 degree minus angle OEF is going to give us the angles here, these angles below the line that joins the midpoints. Now 90 degrees plus angle OEF equal to 90 degrees plus angle OFE is going to give us these angles here. It is going to give us these angles, this and this. That is, so now we have proved, first one proves below the line joining the midpoints. The second one proves the angles above the line joining the midpoints of the chords are equal. So therefore, we can say that angle AEF equal to angle CFE and angle BEF is equal to angle DFE. So this ends this problem. Let us quickly solve another problem now. PQ and RQ are chords of a circle with center O such that the chords are equidistant from the center. Prove that diameter passing through Q bisects angle PQR and PSR. Now let us draw the diagram for this question. So we have a center here and then we've got PQ and RQ, the chords, such that the chords are equidistant from the center. Now prove that the diameter passing through Q, now let us draw the diameter. We need to prove that this diameter bisects angle PQR and as well as PSR and this is S. So now we've got a small construction to here, let's join PS and RS. Now what we have to prove is we need to prove that the diameter passing through Q bisects angle PQR and also angle PSR. So now since chords equidistant from the center are equal, we have PQ equal to RQ. Yeah, PQ equal to RQ because they are equidistant from the center which is given in the question already. Now how do we go about solving this problem? Very simple. We need to consider the two triangles QRS and QPS and prove that these two triangles are congruent to each other. And once you prove that they are congruent to each other, we can easily prove that this angle is going to be this angle and this angle is going to be this angle by which we can prove that the diameter bisects the angle PQR and PSR. So now let us go about solving this problem. Now in triangles PQS and triangle RQS, we have PQ equal to RQ because two chords are equal if they are equidistant from the centers. And we also have angle QPS equal to angle QRS. Why? Because both of them are equal to 90 degrees. And we also have QS equal to QS because this is the side that is being shared by both the triangles as common. So this is each is 90 degrees. This is because equal chords. So now by RHS criterion of similarity, we have proved that triangle PQS is congruent to triangle RQS. So therefore we have angle PQS equal to angle RQS and angle PSQ equal to angle RSQ. So therefore QS bisects angles PQR and angle PSR. Now this angle PQS equal to angle RQS and angle PSQ equal to RSQ is because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal and hence this problem ends here.